There's been a lot of debate at the Capitol on bills relating to voter integrity. Some lawmakers are pushing for measures such as requiring voters to show a photo ID before being allowed to cast a ballot. Another bill would criminalize anyone who delivers a ballot for someone unable to drive to the polls. Now, with so much emphasis on one vote for one person, you'd think lawmakers would make sure they follow the rules, too. In tonight's CBS 42 Investigates, Nancy Wilson found out many don't. It's a record about Clark Place read the bell. This is State Representative Debbie Riddle. She authored the bill that would require voters to show a photo ID. Clark, bring the bell. It's a record vote. It's all about integrity. It's a record vote. But the integrity of one person, one vote doesn't apply at the legislature. We found many lawmakers vote more than once. Take a look. Riddle votes, turns around, votes again for State Rep Kemple. Rewind. And watch the men on the screen. Elkins goes to vote for Merritt, but Hancock is faster. Elkins heads back to his desk, but before he can vote, Joe Crabb turns around and beats him to it. There is so much going on during the vote on the HPV vaccine mandate, you really have to pay attention. Start with State Rep Hamilton at his desk. He leans over to vote a second time for his desk mate, Dan Branch, then reaches back to vote for Charlie Howard and casts a fourth vote for Wayne Smith. He's not the only one scrambling to vote. Rewind the video and take a look at the top of the screen. State Reps West and Phillips both lean over to vote for themselves and their desk mates. Phillips votes a third time for Christian. On the left, Donna Howard votes for State Rep Vo. State Representative Dunham didn't have to leave his chair to cast four votes. One for himself, then for Coleman, Martinez Fisher, and then Vesey. Sometimes the voting is across party lines. Hartnett, a Republican, reaches back to vote for Democrat Oliveda. Democrat Matt Reynolds votes for Republican England, and Republican John Davis votes for Democrat Noriega. Most voters have no way of knowing if their lawmakers are actually casting their own vote. Even though the legislature is broadcast on cable TV, the cameras change from this to this when it's time to vote. But if you're sitting on the third floor gallery... I certainly noticed that there's, there appear to be far more votes on the tick board than there were people in the, in the room. Arnie and Laurel Weiss were baffled when they came to see the legislature in action. That seems uh, very inappropriate that they should do something about it. Yeah, definitely. State Rep. Debbie Reynolds says voting for other members is done out of necessity. We have a lot of votes. We have a lot of amendments. And there's times when we don't break for lunch and we don't break for dinner. We don't have bathroom breaks. Necessity or not, one thing is clear. They aren't supposed to be doing it. According to the official House rules, written, voted, and approved by lawmakers at the beginning of the session, any member found guilty by the House of knowingly voting for another member on the voting machine shall be subject to discipline deemed appropriate by the House. Clerk, bring the bells to record. So, should lawmakers do it? Well, there's no question. At face value, it uh, seems a blatant uh, affront to the, their own rules. It is against their own rules, but the issue is with enforcement. Now, it's the Speaker's job to make sure the rules are followed. He declined to talk to us on camera, but his spokesperson sent us a statement that basically says they leave it up to the House members. Although the practice is widespread, 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 we couldn't find any instances of lawmakers being disciplined for voting more than once. We couldn't find any instances of lawmakers being disciplined for voting more than once. Although the practice is widespread, we couldn't find any instances of lawmakers being disciplined for voting more than once. Nancy Wilson, CBS 42 Investigates. If you'd like to read the full statement from Speaker Cranick's spokesperson, you'll find it on our website, KITV.com.